Hi, I'm Julia. And I'm Sheila. We're from Southampton and this is our self-isolation story. So in between the full lockdowns last year, I received a text message from the NHS Test and Trace app to self-isolate as I had come into contact who, with someone who'd recently tested positive. My friend had already texted me, so I was prepared for this message. I currently live and work at home with my mother and sister, so and we're all leading remote and virtual lives. And I'm technically a slightly increased COVID risk because I'm 60 years old and I've got type 2 diabetes and remission and high blood pressure, but I'm healthy day to day. The guidance says that household members who didn't share a contact don't need to self-isolate. But we knew that at any point a few days into her isolation period, Julia could become contagious herself, even without having any symptoms and infect us. So, as well as not leaving the house and following the general rules, to, either to exercise or visit friends or partners, uh, we decided on, on day one to set some ground rules to minimise contact within the house. So I stayed in my room as much as possible, both to work during the day and in the evenings. And um, when I did leave my room and went to communal areas, I wore a mask and kept two metres distance. I made sure to use the kitchen when it was empty on my own and also tried to use just one sh shower and toilet as we're fortunate enough to have two. And anything I did come into contact with, such as light switches, kettles or kitchen appliances, I wiped down with some disinfectant. Uh, this was quite daunting on day one of 14, but I found that I did quickly develop a good routine and I was very grateful to have work to keep me busy during the day and access to a garden to go outside in my lunch break for some daylight. Um, in the evenings, I often did a YouTube workout or some yoga in my room and then settled into some sewing repairs that I'd been putting off for far too long and watching TV or video calling friends. Uh, the hardest days were definitely the last two of my isolation, which I was 99.9% .9 sure that I wouldn't develop symptoms and hadn't caught COVID, but still had to stick to my room and isolate just in case. So I was very grateful to be able to go out for my first walk of freedom. So Julia didn't develop symptoms and neither did either of us, so none of us needed a COVID test. So my other daughter and I, we came and went during during this period as per the guidance at the time because it wasn't it wasn't during a lockdown. So overall I think we did all we could to reduce the risk of transmission and it was a success. <laughs>